hi guys today I want to show you how I do my candles um, how I decorate my candles I won't show you how I mix my soy wax and fragrant soils but I'll just show you how I put all the flowers and decor on them so today I will make two candles one is lavender and another one I don't know yet something fall scented I guess you can see the colors on this side like here they kind of orangey and harvesty so cute so let's get started um this is almost everything that i will use today of course soy wax i'm blending my soy wax actually with beeswax a little bit so it looks smooth um i will use fragrance oils and i guess these things when like the flowers around oh my windows are open so it's kind of a bit windy i'm using these two containers yeah, metal ones so I open those and I think I will start with the lavender scent like this the flowers I'm using they kind of look the same but they actually different look see this is more pinky and this one is more purpley more for the lawn. oh my fingers dirty oh my god okay candles so I'm gonna use it I'm not sure if I'm gonna take from here or I'll take somewhere else like I have a bunch of these things and I'm gonna use these and these look at how, how cute they are I don't know where I got them from but I have them yeah so I'll start from the lavender that's the actually lavender box here so they're gonna stay here I don't want to take from there because it might be some fur around because I have two cats Okay, let's get started. We will start from the wigs. The wigs, I'm getting like a long one, like about ten, 8 inches wig. And uh, I'm just cutting it into like 5, I guess, or 6 pieces. So those are already pre cut um, I'm putting them in the clip from the bottom. Because you can see that I, you can see that I already cut it here. And it's kind of flat. Because this is the top. And I'm making it smoother. So I'm putting from the bottom. Just in this way. And it stays. I don't need to, um, to squeeze it here. Look, I don't need to squeeze it here. Because it already stays on its place. And I'm taking the smallest uh, wig clips. So it will melt all the wax down. It's about three millimeters, I guess, like 12 and three. I'm not really sure. I just got it like a long time ago. So I just have them. I'm gonna grab my, oops, I'm gonna grab my hot glue, this is hot glue. And I'll just will stick it to those containers. This is my the oldest guy ever. <laughs> like really, I have him for ages. Just a bit of hot glue. Sometimes I forget to turn it off. That's why it's got yellow. A bit of hot glue, not too much. Putting it around a clip and some on the wick so it stay on places. I'm not putting the wicks in the center because the flower is gonna be here. I don't want them to catch in fire. Safety. Okay, so that's why it's not in the middle. Don't worry, it catches the wax because the wax that melts around it it goes it melts more and more and more and then it touches the flowers but the fire doesn't touch the flowers so all the wax is melted okay i have mixed my soy wax and fragrant soil okay now i'm using another scent so i decided add cranberry and pumpkin scent it smells amazing like really. and i think that's gonna be my new fall scent so i need two candles at the same time i need i need it to cool down so i can start decorating so let's wait a bit I 
to almost cool down. It can be harder. So I'm gonna start with lavender. 